<laughs> Come on, Jordan. Jordan. Breakfast time. Going for a four egg omelette today. A couple of tomatoes, pepper, and a tea no sugar. And it's raining. <laughs> We've just arrived on site. We're installing a residence nine window today. Jordan's just making a start on ripping, ripping out. So we're we'll doing these, uh, we're we'll doing these three windows over the next uh, few days. We've got two two bar windows. Standard, uh, standard window in the middle there. We're going to be taking the, uh, the balls out and uh, replacing them for uh, residence nine windows. We're actually removing the, uh, the balls on these. Uh, customers opted just to go for um, a flat, flat finish uh, window now rather than have the, uh, the ball windows. And the residence nine is um, probably the most traditional looking uh, window that we do. It's all mechanically jointed, uh, a nice little grain finish to it. We're even going to match the um, black and white uh, looks. We've got black cells, white frames. Should look really nice. Show you these close up. Single glazed. And uh, just totally shot that, rotten to bits. That one. It's just even just falling off of there. Customers uh, suffered from really bad condensation and it's still getting uh, all wet inside. You can see on the inside there, it's all getting mouldy. Save the wire. Save the wire. All ripped out now. Just prepping, just got to cut back for the uh, residence nine frame with the residence nine frame being uh, width typical frames 70 75 mil uh, but the residence nine is a, is a bit thicker so it's 100 mil so we have to chop back this uh, plaster work and obviously also where we've removed the uh, the bow window we're going to cut back because uh, we're putting a flat flat window in now so it's going to have a normal normal width sill on the inside now same on the ceiling Rid of all this uh, lead work, timber little, timber little part, uh, cladding on top. Take that out. Going well so far. The window out now, all prepped, ready for the new, new residence nine window. 
You can see quite a bit of work involved in taking a ball in now. Put all the sew, put all the sew back, all the linings back. Uh, we'll allow for the 100 mil frame. This top part was uh, filled with uh, timber and the leg work were attached to that. Where the old uh, bar supports were. We'll uh, put some common, put a common in there and uh, I'm going to get it all rendered. Ended up after, once when does in. frame in now heavy very heavy we managed to get it in <laughs> so we, we put our uh, fixings fixings in did on about 150 mil from many uh, from, uh, from the bottoms upwards so top downwards So you see we've got all the uh, plaster back, so the way you can see now where the wind off fits nicely to the internal plaster. I'll have the decorators caught that or uh, some uh, matching uh, filed white PVC trims. Like that in a bit. Yeah. So you can see the window does does fit. <laughs> it's just that on the uh, on the outside, the back outside. You got where the um, where the original um, roof was, and there was a piece of timber in there with the uh, the leaded roof was attached to that. So you can see the detail. See the detail on this side here. So obviously we've ripped this, this part out, just left this gap on the top here. Uh, so we'll probably uh, get some timber um, and get that uh, get that gap filled up. Yeah, it's going all right. So far, so good. So I'll show you quickly on inside uh, just before I pack up and finish off. So we've uh, gone through uh, decorators cork instead of trimming because uh, there's no wallpaper on the wall. This was plastered painted so it'll be a, a nicer finish. It does look like it's always been there then without any trims on. The decorators cork all the way around rather than silicone 
that way the customer can just paint uh, paint straight over that. Uh, so I'll show you this. So we've got the so these are the bottom bottom sashes, two top openers, three bottom fixed sashes. If you remember, these were out this morning. I took those out to um, save the weights, make it a bit easier to install and carry about. Uh, so the, the way these go in, the glass bonded, so the glass is actually fixed to the part of the sash. Um, and you see these, you've got the bare pole screws, fixings all the way around. So they come on a hinge, so just hinge them back up, shut the close them shut closed, uh, and screw the bare poles in, and that's fixed and secure all the way around now. So yeah, inside looks really good. Got all nice equal sight lines all the way around. So we've got back to the unit now. Just emptying van out, finished just in time. Just started raining. <laughs>